it is a perfect marriage of the way that the football club interfaces with the community at a time when you know, the sector, football in general, is often accused of being big business. We must not lose sight of our social responsibilities, and I think this is a superb example of that. More than 100 pupils from schools across Blackburn have given up their holiday to take part in a huge musical production. As well as performing, the youngsters have been set the challenge of designing and promoting the routine. When finished, it'll form part of pre-match entertainment at a Premiership football game. Rob Winshuffle reports. It seems all some teenagers want to do during half-term is make a big song and dance about everything. These youngsters, however, have given up their holiday to take part in a project organised by the local council. During a week of workshops, they've been taught singing, dancing, marketing and filmmaking. The aim is to give children the chance to learn skills they perhaps wouldn't get the opportunity to at school. The final production will be performed before Blackburn Rovers' last home match against West Brom in two months' time which is just as well, as it seems some need a bit more practice. And we look forward to the final result. Well, this weekend, uh, four teams left in the playoffs will be hoping to put on a good show. And that's just what a group of teenagers did recently when they were chosen to present the pre-match entertainment for one of Super League's top clubs. They had a hard act to follow, but as Bill Arthur reports, expert advice was on hand. <laughs> The Arena of Life project was devised by Dave King, who coordinates the Bradford Bulls pre-match entertainment, and he set the students the task of designing and producing the match day entertainment for the club's final game of the season. The Bulls have a reputation for putting on a good show on game day. It was a daunting task for the teenagers who'd auditioned for the project. After two weeks of intensive rehearsals, the team were ready to do their thing and they were given some final words of encouragement by Robbie Paul, who knows a thing or two about the entertainment business himself. Well, if you can perform in front of 22,000 people at the age of 15 and 16, I'm sure talking to one stranger for a job is going to, you know, is going to be a walk in the park. Meanwhile, the students from Bradford and Newcastle-upon-Tyne had their big day in front of thousands of spectators, and they came through as winners. Everybody here is such like a young age to be doing this. I think this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I don't know if I'll ever do anything like this again, but I hope I do. If you ask anybody here how great it is, they'll all say the same. It's amazing. And I just can't wait to do the show. The guys don't want to be sort of stood here waiting for the game to start looking at an empty pitch and to see you, know, you guys here riling them up, getting them excited, to hear them cheering, you know. To, to hear the announcer asking them here to make a bit of noise and to hear that response is, is fantastic. Thanks very much for your time. Okay, and I'm sure we'll see you again. Of course you will. Thank you very Thanks. much. Cheers, guys. Angela, sorry, what's your surname? Lions. Lions, okay. Right, what do you make of all this? And it's been the final day today. What, what do you rate to it? It's been really, really good fun. It's like a really good thing to do. What's it been like in front of all these people? It's really good. Like everyone would think you are really nervous and everything, but it's really good fun when you get there. Great, well done. Thank you. A short while ago I met with uh, Dave in his office and he showed me some, uh, uh, some uh, video or, or DVDs of some of his exploits in other parts of Yorkshire to particularly get young people and families thinking about their health and well-being. So I think it's a really great opportunity. <laughs> very pleased with the production it's been a successful experience and when we arrived here three weeks ago um, I wasn't sure what to expect but as you can see from the um, from the two-page spread and the match program I'm very pleased with the production so what do you think you've gained from this project oh, I've gained tremendous experience from the whole um, event and I'm very pleased that it's been set up and um, it is it's gonna be good for my CV when I go and apply for jobs because yeah. I would like to be a journalist so make some noise for the
make to it? Um, I thought it was fantastic. I can't believe how well it went. But it's just a great buzz standing here in front of everybody. What were the nerves like? Oh, beforehand we were all shaking pretty badly. <laughs> but it's been worth it, hasn't it? Definitely. It's such a buzz, I can't believe it's over.